Good evening, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. I will be sharing with you how you can fight aging with quercetin and tocotrinols. A recent study reveals that the immune system can be assisted by clearing away old cells, helping to restore our youthful character. These cells are the senescent cells, which are unable to divide and reproduce. Our stem cells divide through a lifetime, renewing our muscles, blood vessels, and especially skin and blood cells that turn over rapidly. In the process, chromosomes in those stem cells lose their telomeres. When these chromosomes have telomeres that are too short, a cell becomes senescent. Senescent cells are not just sluggish and moribund. They actually poison the nearby tissue, creating more senescent cells, and poison the body with chemical signals. It has been suggested that because the number of senescent cells increases with aging, that senescence contributes to aging. Senescence is a safety measure built into cells to prevent the propagation of damaged cells allowing them to enter cell death and having the immune system dispose of them. Therefore, senescence is usually a good thing as it keeps us safe from damaging cells causing cancer and promotes healthy tissue repair. However, there is a tipping point of this safety measure. Clearing away unwanted senescent cells is the job of the immune system and replacing the lost cells requires stem cells to repopulate the tissue. As we age, the ability of the immune system to clear these cells begins to fail, and they begin to accumulate. This in turn increases inflammation, reducing the ability of stem cells to replace losses. Thus begins the downward spiral. At this point, cell senescence ceases to be a safety valve and switches to becoming an active driver of aging. Senescent cells are also involved in the wound healing process, but they only require a very small number of cells to achieve this. A study found two drugs that can help eliminate senescent cells. Quercetin, found in many herbs and berries, seemed to work best for cells in arteries, and dasatinib, a patented chemotherapy agent, was best for fat stem cells. The research team tested the combination of quercetin and desatinib for short-term health effects in mice and found encouraging results. Quercetin is a common flavonoid and antioxidant found in black currants, cilantro, red onion, watercress, cranberries, and smaller amounts in many fruits and herbs. Dark blue and red fruits tend to have the highest quercetin content. In the study, the amount of quercetin used in combination with a medicinal agent to increase the health span of the aging mice was 50 mg. In humans, 500 to 800 mg of quercetin per day for 3 months, followed by a maintenance dose of 150 mg, might be effective to see results. In addition, tocotrenol compounds have been shown to induce senescence and promote cell death. Tocotrenols are a group of chemicals that are part of the vitamin E family. It's no wonder why vitamin E gives the skin such a youthful glow. Fruits and vegetables are great for you, but sadly, most of these foods are not good sources of tocotrenols. Tocotrenols are naturally found in plants, such as red palm fruit, rice, wheat, barley, rye, and oats. The richest natural source of tocotrenols is the oil of the red palm fruit. For people who choose not to consume grains, this is a good option. Red palm oil can contain up to 800 milligrams per kilogram of tocotrenols and compromises approximately 80% tocotrenols. This sounds promising, but there is current debate on whether obtaining tocotrenols through food is sufficient enough. Because one has to consume around 80 grams of palm oil, which is a lot of oil for biologically effective results, it might be better to include a palm oil-derived tocotrenol supplement. Some recommend taking around 150 milligrams of the supplement for
for around three months and 100 milligrams thereafter for maintenance. Research has shown quercetin and tocotrenols to be effective against senescent cells and aging. This indicates that consumption of these compounds could benefit longevity and health span. I hope that this video was informative and please share it with others. Thank you so much for watching. Good day and good health.